Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. If you're everyone watching or shares video on my channel and help support the awesome bands I feature, and today I'm here with The Hate Club. How are you doing today? Hey, how's it going, everyone? Doing great. Uh, what about you, man? I'm doing good, doing good. It's great to have you. And for anyone who isn't familiar with you guys, you want to start off and give us a little history about the band? Yeah, I'll start by, um, you know, taking a step back and maybe correcting you a bit about the guys, because at the currently the hit club is a solo project uh, with me being the the band. And then I would have like session musicians uh, for whenever it's time to go on tour and like for the latest music video that was released, like Cursed, that's um, I was featuring some of my friends that are going to be on tour as well. Oh, I see. So now, um, Curse, it has like a Rammstein feel to it. Was that like the goal doing it, or did that just happen? I think it definitely just happened. I can see uh, uh, that comment, comment being valid when it comes to some synth, synth work. But I've heard a lot of different like things um, or um, um, statements about that song in terms of what it sounds like. Somebody said that um, it was uh, like Pantera Walk like the chorus which wasn't at all like i wasn't even thinking about that you know and someone uh, brought up a um like merlin manson so hey I, you know i'll take it all those are great um you know inspirations i guess oh yeah basically your influence is coming out strong then yeah maybe yeah hey sure but uh <laughs> You know, on the side note, Rammstein, yeah, like I absolutely love them. They've been like huge inspiration, maybe like other songs, uh, not but not so much that one. And your uh, new video coming out next, is it also going to be animated or not? Burning Hell? Yeah, that one's going to be animated. Uh, and it's the second part of the uh, My Name is Legion that I released, I think, like a year and a half ago or two years ago. And working with the same animator, um, same guy. And he just he just gets it, man. You know, it's like rarely you find someone who just um, you basically I give him like the script and there aren't even like any edits. So, yeah, it's already done. Waiting for it. Uh, really excited for that one because they're um, you know, I relate to that video and I'm not going to like spoil why it is like very personal for me, but it's going to be revealed in the video and I'm excited to see like people's reactions uh, regarding that. Awesome. Now I want to ask with being with Ukraine and stuff, how are you handling the situation over there right now? And is that really impacting like influencing your music right now? Uh, well, I'm not I'm not in Ukraine right now. Like I'm, uh, yeah, I'm you're Ukrainian though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in LA, but um, and I moved here like a while back, like ten years ago or something like that. De oh, yeah, definitely impacts. I think like this, there, are, this year, like 2022, there are a lot of like good things and we're a lot of like complete bullshit, you know. And so like the war is one of those bullshit things that I think like should never happen like in modern society. And yet, like every day, I start my day by watching the news, and every day. I end my day by watching the news because, you know, the time difference. Um, no, it's super stressful because my, my parents are there, my brother are there, like uh, my like cousins are there, like a lot of the friends from like high school. Um, yeah, yeah, it is, it is all stressful. And when you're making current music, is that like influencing the music a little bit? Burn in Hell, definitely, yeah. Uh, like the lyrics um, are on some of the like military themes and uh, references you know so uh, um i'm trying not to i'm not i'm trying not to focus all of the music there i definitely well it influenced at least one song but i don't want it to be all about that because um i know my position always been kind of like a way staying away from like political things like too much you know and it, like well it's clear who i'm supporting but i just don't want like my music to be dictated by like um, political movements or like even like uh like societal themes you know they're just not how i like doing it now after uh burn hell's released what are your plans after that going into the new year um a lot of things um i actually just released a uh, a little ebook like a uh, digital book uh, that you can check out. It's called like Manual of the Metalhead. So I just released a couple of days ago. It's actually doing like pretty good. Like there's a lot of like good um, responses and like a bunch of people downloading it. Um, right now I'm finishing the album. I'm finishing the album that should be released early in 2023, probably around February and getting ready to go on tour to support that release of the album 
and along the way releasing a couple well one more music video before the was with the release of the album and just just wrapping up music because um going back to what you you know uh earlier in the conversation when you said like well how you know guys in the band and whatnot so me being the only person who's doing that it's um it takes time it takes time to write everything record and thank god i'm not doing mixing anymore the engineering part because that would take like a lot of time and i'm not as good as like professional mixers are you know so i found like some people to to work with and i'm excited like the how the level of um the the sound and the overall level of the production of the records uh, is going to come out so that's like the main focus. And when do you plan your uh, tour for? When? Mm -hmm. um, early spring, March, kind of, uh, you know, they're pretty much like three main seasons, you know, like spring, early spring, summer, and uh, uh, early autumn. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Now you guys have been really getting the word out. You can see on YouTube, your video views and stuff are really high and stuff. How, how's that been possible? Um, I'm working with some people who are helping with that. Like I, I have, um, these guys reached out to me actually, like they run like a marketing agency for musicians. So they help, uh, spread out the word and, um, it's a, a lot of work. <laughs> I think there is no other way of doing it. And like, I still think it's not even like to the level where I want it to be naturally, <laughs> but I think it's doing pretty good and we'll see how far we can take things and, um, uh, yeah, you know, was keeping like the the overall direction of the band and where I wanted to be like in I don't know ten years, you know. So I see it; it's like lifelong, um, lifelong path. Now, if people want to look you up online, find your music on social media, how do they do that? Uh, the Hate Club. I got pretty lucky to grab all the handles, <laughs> so it's yeah, it's just at the Hate Club pretty much in every platform except for TikTok, because in TikTok it's the Hate Club six six six. It's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> and I want to ask with the uh, the album coming out, how does it compare to the material that's out now musically? Um, there's going to be way more synth work. There's going to be way more uh, thoughtfulness when it comes to writing lyrics. I've been just digging deeper and trying to explore uh, different themes and reading like literature and like poetry to get just better ideas, better songwriting, very better lyrical content. Um, and I think the production is going to be more uh, ex. Not ex I don't want to call it experimental because experimental usually people like start thinking of like sort of like avant garde, you know. But it's going to be more adventurous, you know. And there are going to be a lot more cool stuff in terms of production that I'm trying right now with like synthesizers and just different arrangements and uh, different sound. I've been working also on like a guitar recording technique like this year uh, that I'm pretty excited about. You know how I record the guitars and I think that's going to impact like the the sound. So there's, there, there's, um, it's going to be, it's still going to be heavy and uh, full of energy, you know, and it's going to be raw how I like keeping it, you know, I don't like like super, super polished sound and um, I'm trying to make it interesting in terms of arrangements and some writing too. Awesome. Well, I love the song Curse and what you have, all the other stuff you have asked, so looking forward to it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Cool. Well, it was great having you and talking with you and everybody. Look him up. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me.